Bible verses about marriage, part 3. Deuteronomy 24, 5. When a man is newly married, he shall not go out with the army or be liable for any other public duty. He shall be free at home one year to be happy with his wife, whom he has taken. Ecclesiastes 4, 9-12 Two are better than one, because they have a good reward for their toil. For if they fall, one will lift up his fellow. But woe to him who is alone, when he falls, and has not another to lift him up. Again, if two lie together, they keep warm. But how can one keep warm alone? And though a man might prevail against one, who is alone, two will withstand him. A threefold cord is not quickly broken. Mark 10, 6 through 9. But from the beginning of creation, God made them male and female. Therefore a man shall leave his father and mother and hold fast to his wife. And the two shall become one flesh. So they are no longer two, but one flesh. What therefore God has joined together, let not man separate. Matthew 19, 9 And I say to you, whoever divorces his wife, except for sexual immorality, and marries another, commits adultery. Matthew 5, 32. But I say to you that everyone who divorces his wife, except on the ground of sexual immorality, makes her commit adultery. And whoever marries a divorced woman commits adultery. Proverbs 12, 4. An excellent wife is the crown of her husband, but she who brings shame is like rottenness in his bones. Isaiah 62, 5 For as a young man marries a young woman, so shall your sons marry you. And as the bridegroom rejoices over the bride, so shall your God rejoice over you. Ephesians 5, 31 Therefore a man shall leave his father and mother, and hold fast to his wife, and the two shall become one flesh. 1 Corinthians 7, 2 But because of the temptation to sexual immorality, each man should have his own wife, and each woman her own husband. Psalm 85, 10 Steadfast love and faithfulness meet. Righteousness and peace kiss each other. Thank you, Father, for your true word. We thank you, Lord, that you help us to understand how godly marriage is supposed to be. We thank you, Holy Spirit, for your wisdom and your truth. Allow us to walk in your ways and not neglect your word. We love you, King Jesus, and it's in your mighty name we pray. Amen. If this video has blessed you, please like it and subscribe to our channel. We post videos Monday through Saturday. You can also find us on Instagram at livingtruthco. Thank you for the support. God bless you.